Hi everyone, I'm filming this um, and I haven't actually posted the film that I did about Beauty Pie, explaining to you how brilliant it is, um, how much fun it is and how easy it is, because a lot of confusion around it. Just to inform you, this is not a sponsored post, I'm not getting paid for any of these posts, but a few of the products um, from the PR and I've bought a few myself, um, which I think is very, very important to kind of work from a consumer level rather than just a gifting level. But no money exchanged here, this is just my opinion on what I love. Um, so I don't know whether you liked the film, understood it more, um, but I just think it's a lovely gift for someone. It's a really nice gift that you can indulge yourself and spoil yourself, especially with the skincare because it's just so inventive. They really are right on top of their game and they get products delivered to you that would cost you a lot more money. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. I want to go through a few of the products that I love and to do a little quick face for you. This is making me very happy, Plantastic Cleansing Balm. Now, I have three or four cleansers that I rotate, sort of AHAs and oils and blah, blah, blah. I think I've gone through that with you recently. Um, but this is so lovely and I can feel the benefit of this cleanser after I've washed it off. Um, sometimes you cleanse your skin and you use a flannel, maybe you do it twice, however you choose to do it. And then your skin just sort of feels clean, but it, it just feels clean. This feels super soft. It's like butter. It's a really beautiful product. Um, and when I massage it into my face, I didn't even use any water initially. It was so soft. I could just emulsify all my makeup. And then when I use the flannel to take it off, there wasn't really much makeup left on my skin. Sometimes I make my flannels are like full of foundation and mascara, but um, it dissolved it really beautifully. So that's my first top tip. Um, I want to show you something that's come up very, very new, which I've waited to post because I think it's genius and so exciting. I've been taking it out of the box. I should put it just back for you. This is called Superdose Vitamin C. Um, now I love vitamin C. I use it every single day with lots of different formulas. I love being my own chemist, but Beauty Pie have taken it to the next level with this. So you get to mix your own ampules of vitamin C. Um, so each ampule, let's just get rid of the box and take you this. Each ampule lasts a week and it's freeze dried vitamin C in here and then you mix it with an, the activator. Now I haven't done this. I've freshly washed skin. I've got nothing on it. So I'm gonna do it with you. And I haven't tried it at all. I just thought let's do it together and um, see what we feel. So there's an activator level here. So there's a plug. You take the plug out. Oopsie, let's just see how easy this is. I wish I had a few cameras and I could just show you what I'm doing. Um, and I'm going to put the activator level. Oh, okay, oh I see. Okay, so the powder collapses. And then we go to the top bit there. Okay, so let's put that in. Then you put the plug in. It looks like it was going to get fuller and then shake it. So the thing with vitamin C is that once it oxidizes, um, it's useless basically. Um, it's an acidic product and that it triggers your skin to reactivate itself, brighten itself, re -aliven. you re -aliven? That's not really a word, is it? Brighten your skin. Um, really important to use because it's a great antioxidant if you're spending a lot of time in the sun. So I always use vitamin C on holiday. I mean, I use vitamin C every day. But if you are exposing it or it's not tightly consumed in an airtight package, it can go brown. If your vitamin C has gone brown, you spin it. It's absolutely hopeless. Um, so this is a really wonderful way to know that it's bang on target in terms of its potency. Um, okay, so let's take that off. And let's put this lid on. So you twist the top off. I'm going to put it onto my... And, oh, I see, it's like a little squeezy dropper. Okay, so you drop it, nice. I've got to get this for a week. So it's beautifully clear, all nice texture, super smooth. And some vitamin C's have really stung my skin. This, let's hope this one doesn't. <laughs> really smooth, so it's comforting, easy to blend. Sometimes the vitamin C's can go on a bit sticky and tacky. And that's gliding over my skin beautifully. No sensation whatsoever just yet. A bit too close to my eyes. Oh, that's very pleasant. Absolutely zero smell. Well, let's see, I'll get back to you. 
and let you know how my skin is in a week or so. But I, I mean, I do use vitamin C every day, so I'm not going to huge, notice a huge difference instantly. Um, but what fun is this? And one thing I have learned is that another thing product I want to show you actually, um, the super healthy daily moisture lotion is something that I love. What I have learned from all the dermatologists that I've been speaking to over the past few years since I've been doing my channel is that with your moisturizer, keep it really simple. You can buy really simple, inexpensive moisturizers like CeraVe, for instance, is a brilliant one. Dr. Sam Bunting has a brilliant one, slightly higher, a higher price point. Um, really clean, um, non-reactive, no perfumes, no alcohols, nothing. Because if you are doing what I'm doing and mixing your vitamin C's together or adding actives into your skincare, if you then put on a moisturizer that's you know getting busy with its ingredients, it just, you know, it just complicates everything. Well, it doesn't complicate everything, I think what it does is it causes a terrible reaction on your skin. And everyone is different, so everyone reacts differently, so what works with me may not work on everybody else. So as I would do in the morning, put the vitamin C on and put my moisturiser on. Now I would go in with a, an SPF afterwards when I brush my teeth, but for the purposes of this film, I'm not going to do it, but yes, I absolutely would put an SPF on. Oh, it's nice. It drenches the skin. It does what it says on the box, very simply, hydrates my skin. So that's a fabulous product too. Now, this packaging I absolutely love. Oh, please tell me your favorite products too, because it's quite an extensive range, Beauty Pie. Um, and there's lots and lots of products that I love. Um, and uh, I, but I haven't gone through them all. So please share with me your favorite ones. I love this packaging. Um, makes me feel pretty and feminine. This looks nice on the, on in my bathroom. So I'm going to use this slightly backward, you may think, but I really like it at my age to put the hyaluronic. Um, I mean, I would put it before my moisturizer if I felt really dehydrated, but I love it on my eyelids and just around my eyes um, because for me, it just makes my skin look a little bit fresher. Never waste a product. Keep using it mm, on your hands and rub it in. Um, literally, and then I dive straight in with my base. So those are the lovely skincare products that I'm loving. You can feel they've got that lovely sort of tacky finish, which is great. Um, so they've got a few foundations. The micro mineral one is nice for me, it's lighter. I have also been using Great Skin, which I think that you have um, seen me apply. This is 300, this is a nice jade for me. Again, in a lovely dropper, which is nice and controllable. Um, I've gone for this one because of the time of year. Great skin was perfect for me when I literally felt grey in winter um, and I really wanted to have a real proper cover to my skin. But this product um, is just perfect. It's packed full of goodies. It's nice and soft and easy to apply on my skin. I can do it just literally as if I was doing a foundation, a moisturiser, as you can see. And I like to, I hate product wastage, I like to apply it all with my fingers, push it into my skin, and then I will buff with a foundation brush just to make sure that it all sits beautifully and flawlessly on the skin. This is a nice big foundation brush. I don't want to remove it. I just want to make sure that it's sitting. I've got any facial hair. I have to demoplay my skin, but this is nice. And then I'm going to take another little drop on my hand and just use a really soft eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna push that into the areas that I want more coverage. Most products these days layer really beautifully so if you haven't got any extra cash or you've forgotten your concealer just take a smaller brush and that really allows the product to layer up and just give you the coverage that you need where you need it. Just remember not to swipe the foundation, just push it into the pores so you get nice coverage. Now I think that's enough, I don't want the look to be too heavy, this is just nice and fresh. My skin still feels fine after vitamin C, I've had no reaction whatsoever straight in with the makeup. Okay, so there is my base. Now, um, Pro Glow is a wonderful Highlighter, again in the dropper. I just love this sort of wannabe chemist, I suppose. 
This is a lovely, I think I've used this before on another video and I love it particularly because it's a pale gold. I just don't particularly like goldy golds. I don't think they're flattering. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, you want to create light, not too much colour. Um, and for this eye look, I think what I'm going to do as well, because I want it to be fresh and glowy. See how even if I just put it on the end of my nose, it doesn't look like I've got that sort of high beam. It just gives radiance to my skin, just because my skin is, is very dry. So I'd probably go over the top and making it a little bit <laughs> too glowy. Oh, they've got lovely cream blushes, cream to powder blushes. Actually, they're powder blushes, but they're so soft. Um, I particularly like this one called Peachy Dreams. I'm going to use the same brush um, as I've just used to apply the strobing cream. And I'm just going to blend it in together. I'm not really a, a shimmer brick fan. I've got some beautiful shimmer bricks, very much like the Bobbi Brown ones. And, and funnily enough, you can see... Um, uh, what brands they've been inspired by and how they've made their products. So if you are beauty crazy, you'll sort of know. Hmm, that's lovely. Really pretty. Nice and reflective, but not too much. Right, okay. Um, I don't have a brow pencil from Beauty Pie. I forgot to get one. So I'm going to use my Diego de la Palma one. And this shade is 114. They do really nice cream uh, eyeshadow sticks as well and so does Beauty Pie. Um, I love their cream eyeshadow sticks, I work a lot with cream. I'm going to use the powder ones today just because I know that I teach you with a lot of um, creams but their eyeshadow sticks are one of their best selling ones um, and they're just really easy to use. Right, great, okay so they do all these really beautiful tonal palettes. I'll give you a little quiz. I think it's inspired them to make these palettes. Really lovely, really easy to use, beautiful tones, a nice balance of metallic and matte. I'm going to use the rosy ones. Are they called rosy? Very plum plums today. Um, and because I want it to be a little bit more shimmery, I'm just going to show you another way to use um, the Pro Glow. If you want to inject a little bit of radiance. Put this on your lid first with your same little brush and then you can use the powder over. Because it dries, as you can see, um, really beautifully. It's not a greasy product, it's not gonna slip. It's a really nice base if you want to put eyeshadow on top and you want the eyeshadow to be just a little bit more fresh and dimensional. And I'm gonna put that right up, right up into my brow. And you can see that it dries dries really well and stays put. Okay, so I'm going to use these lovely plummy shades and the nice metallic ones. So I think I'm going to go in with the plum shade first, so with a flat brush, so we have a one, two, three, four. Um, I'm just going to pat it in over the top. When you've got a slightly damper lid as well, it goes on really well. Oh, that's pretty really is about your prep of your skin and your lid to make the makeup be effortless to apply, so pleasant for you and just to have that sort of polish to it if you rush it and rush the bits that you know create the base of the, of the makeup it can tend just to look a little bit um, patchy and then you can't blend it and then you look in the mirror and you haven't quite got the finish that you wanted. It's really annoying. I love these plummy shades. They suit all different eye colours too. If you've got really dark eyes you can go a little bit richer. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter shade here. Uh, I'll use the same brush. Actually no, I'm going to use a cleaner brush. So I want to get as much payoff from this as possible. I'm just going to put it to that inner corner there. See, the eyeshadow's got a really nice pigment to it. Get a nice colour payoff. Right, I'm just going to take a smudger brush. This has got a really nice dense tip to it. And I'm going to use the middle shade, which is a, a matte. 
um, and just to push that there just to really work into my socket and to smudge underneath it's very softly. So there's hundreds of ways you could use this palette and I just think if you're a bit bored it's quite nice to add a rosy hue to your eyes. And I'm going to use that brown just underneath not even to sort of create anything just to be really really soft. And then because it's more dense, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got, that's it. Just a nice dollop of color, just on my lash line so that you can really see it. It's really pretty, really pretty. Right, so I'm gonna be using a false flash. Now I particularly like this one because it's got a really short wand. Um, I can't use big fat wands. This one is really short and stubby, like, you know, <laughs> they've cut it off. Um, but I like that because you get buckets of mascara quickly onto your lashes. I mean, if there's lots and lots of bristles on your mascara wand, it takes a while to actually get the product onto your lashes. And obviously if you're genetically blessed and you've got tons and of lovely, beautiful, long, fluttery eyelashes, I haven't done badly in that department. I have to say I've got a nice length of lash on my top, but I do like a bit of amplification. I'm not really into a soft lash, so this brush, for me, works really well. I'm just going to use the tip just to catch the lower lashes, but I'm going to keep it, just to make sure I don't put any highlighter on my mole. Don't need to bring that out into the open any more than it already is. Okay. Really soft, really pretty. I might just take a clean brush just to really make sure that's soft and diffused. But I like the coolness of it. I didn't quite think that it would work so well with my grey shirt when I put it on. Um, but yeah, I really like that. Now, another fave from Beauty Pie is their lipsticks. I'm not sure what this group of lipsticks is called, and I'm sorry about that, I'll list it. They have the most beautiful, balmy, hydrating lipsticks, and there are some really lovely nudes. This one is called Master Sweet, and you can see it's been well used and loved. It's a pinky nude, and it works really well with this eye. But the key with a balmy lip is that it doesn't move, uh, it's not too slippery, so you get a really good colour payoff. There's another one called Honey Honey which I like, so nice. I'm just going to take a bit of a lip liner actually. This isn't a uh, beauty pie actually, this is a Rimmel. Rimmel do great eyeliners and lip liners I have to say. Just want to give that a bit of a polish. Mm, it's a really good colour match for that lipstick as well. That one is, um, oh, a thousand kisses. That's rather nice, isn't it? Just going to fill that area there. But look how effortless that application of lipstick was. So, so far, these are some of my favourite Beauty Pro products. But as I said, there's quite a lot to get through. So I will keep introducing them as and when I sort of find ones that I really like. But the lipsticks, the bases, the eyeshadows, the glow... The skincare, even the candles. I've got one candle which I treated myself to, which is just lovely. So, like I think I said in the film, all you're gonna waste is like 15 pounds if you don't like it. I'm sure that you will for one month. Um, so enjoy it. It's a great way to get involved with what is new in beauty and um, yeah, feel good about yourself. Anyway, I hope you like the look and um, as always, I look forward to speaking to you downstairs, down there. Thanks everyone, bye.